Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How y'all doing? Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. My name is Mike D, a.k.a. D-E-80, a.k.a. 13 Wonder of the World, a.k.a. Mike Deasy. Shout out to M. Breezy. Shout out to the Point Place family. Shout out to Bobby Reezy. Shout out to Naya Naya. Shout out to my sister. Shout out to everybody. Love everybody. Thank y'all. Early this Saturday morning. Um... I'm doing a point of view early this morning on a big Saturday. Uh, just want to recap some things. Uh, Friday Night Smackdown, as well as the NBA for the last two nights. I'm very happy about the Lakers winning last the other night. LeBron James versus Kevin Durant. AD had a great game. LeBron had a great game. Excuse me for a second. TV loud. But um, as I was saying, the Lakers played a great game the other night. The Lakers were able to beat uh, beat the Phoenix Suns. And uh, very good to see the Lakers come out and put a, put a beating on the Suns, which is going to be a rivalry game for the rest of the season. It's going to be LeBron versus Kevin Durant the rest of the season. And uh, it was good to see the Lakers come out strong, as well as the Celtics. Uh, they're the, To me, they're, mo they're the most complete team in the NBA, the Boston Celtics, as well as what happened with the Bucks. They're giving... You know, Damian Lillard, the Rocket, to let him go out there and do what he needs to do to make something happen. And that's what I'm happy to see for the Bucks. The Bucks are going to be a tough out. Guys, I'm telling you now, if Damian Lillard scores 40, 50 points with the Bucks, Giannis comes back and scores 30, and Milton put up 15 or 10 a game, the Bucks are going to win the championship. It's just that plain and simple. They are, they are there to win the championship. They could win the championship this year. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Know that today is college football. I'm hoping and praying that your bets hit. I'm hoping and praying that all your spreads make it, your money lines, your player performance, your over and under. I'm just praying that everybody wins what they need to win today in the bets. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Friday Night Smackdown was a subpar but all right show. Roman Reigns ate a BFT from LA Knight. Bianca will be going up against Bailey next week, which they, they had the show after the first Smackdown went off the air. And the reason why they did that is because next week they're going to be going to Jeddah, to Saudi Arabia. So they're not going to have a, a, a live SmackDown and, and they got to be in Saudi Arabia that Saturday for an 11 o'clock show. It's not going to happen. That's why they did that like that there. That's why they made it happen like that. So, you know, it was some, some good things seeing some okay uh, rivalries. Like I said, Kevin, Kevin Owens is about to start punching people out. <laughs> Like he did Austin Theory and, and, and your boy Grayson Waller. Uh, Chelsea Green lose to Shosky. Shosky, if Charlotte Flair and Shosky become a tag team, they may be the next tag team champions. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you all this because Charlotte Flair needs to go into another role now. She does not be, to be fighting for the WWE women's title all the time. She needs to fight. In a tag team. And Shosky will be a great partner. Or Scarlett. One of them. So SmackDown was all right. Dragon Lee beat Cedric Alexander. A great match. That was a absolute phenomenal match between Dragon Lee and Cedric Alexander. Uh, I'm just giving you guys some recaps on things. John and Solo, like I said. Solo got the offense off on John. 
I think that John Cena will beat Solo at Crown Jewel because Crown Jewel is probably going to be one of the swan songs for John Cena. We don't know when John Cena's going to come back. I'm hoping that he comes back for the Royal Roman and have a WrestleMania match. But right now, it looks like Solo is probably going to be the man that takes the loss from John. I don't think John's going to going to lose to Solo. I think Solo's going to lose to John because Solo could come back from that. But John, he has to win every other match. They're, they're, he's possibly thinking about retiring, folks. And so as it is, you know, it's going to be a great day of NBA games, NBA sports. Yacht Victor last night won his first NBA regular season game by beating the Rockets. They came back and beat the Rockets to win a great outing by Victor uh, over Houston. Um, it, was a good, it was a good win for him. But not only that, ladies and gentlemen, um, you know, you have some guys out there, you know, it's, you're going to get a lot of these teams are going to get caught on bad nights playing these back-to-backs against these teams that they think not going to come out and play, and these teams come out and play. So we'll have to see what happens now with that being said. Uh, you know, as I go and prepare for my, my weekend, I want everybody to know that you're here for a purpose. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your family. Love your family. Love your friends. Try to be as positive as you can be. Keep your head up. Remember, God is always there. God bless you. God keep you. I'm out.